Hello everyone, Zagraz here, and I, last episode we defeated the Giga Golem in the Desert Temple, and did a few things around here, but there is plenty more to do before we go on to the Aqua Temple, the Water Temple. Uh, one main thing is go in here, in this door, and this guy is asking for more money, so might as well take care of that. It's embarrassing, but my business failed. I can do better this time. Just help me out. Okay. Come back soon. I'll have your money. Yeah, that's what they always say. Uh, some of you might remember up here and around. Uh, there's a guy in the building that asked for water. Well... He's finally got water, or he finally was able to survive and good things in this nice lone room. Ooh. Hey, talk. Thank you. I am, I am Sir Tet, my good hero. Now I can do my laundry. The water in Cornelia is so clean and pure. Huh? Dying of thirst? What in the world gave you that idea? It was a nightmare. I dreamt of an endless stream of laundry. Anyway, here's a token of my appreciation. <laughs> yeah, that was always funny. And you get a life shard for that. Yeah, that was always... I always thought that was kind of funny. Just because it's... He, he acts like he's dying of thirst. And he just wants to do his laundry. And this guy randomly pops out. Talk to him. I've been waiting for you. Huh? Who are you? I am Newman. The one who shall guide you to greatness. I will use my power to open this uh, on this door. Then you can retrieve the lost magic sealed on the other side. Ah! Uh oh, it's going down. And he fainted. Master Newman, are you all right? It seems I used too much of my power. Ugh. But if you obtain the magic, it was worth. It was worth it. Go now, Ugh. Master Newman. Master, we should go check. Uh, I always thought this was funny. The guy pretty much gives his life to give you the greatest magic. This magic shall give the great power. Got the Ultima book. Which is, of course, references to, like, Final Fantasy and Ultima's being, like, the most powerful magic. Um, this spell uses 99 MP to cast. What a shame. Yep. You get the ultimate magic you can't even use. Some guy w wastes his life to give you nothing. Sorry, bro. <laughs> um. But there are two main things... Uh, Stupid camera. Uh, there are two main things we are going to be getting today. There's actually a lot of things we can go get, but two, two of the main things. A new sword that will replace this thing for a long time. And the other thing will be, well, you'll figure out later. Hey, look, a hole in the wall. It's right in here. And if you asked, didn't ask why I didn't get this earlier, well, yeah. I need to be able to grapple. <sighs> why do I keep on thinking there's going to be an invisible wall there? <laughs> That's not a good thing to have happen. Whoop. Yeah, avoid those. Stupid. I always like these little dungeon things. They're always full of archaic traps. Nope. No crowns. I don't want to see any crowns on these guys. Q. 
Okay, I'm gonna try something suicidal. Ah! Actually, one sec. get this they don't appear very often so I want to get this taken care of if I can stop sucking come on Lemnia use your snake powers Stupid Cyclops. Uh, ah. uh, there we go. Actually, I'm just going to be a jerk to this guy. <laughs> Good thing that sword killed him. I think I would have died if he hit me again. <laughs> Actually, I might have been left with like half a heart, or half an apple. Not quite sure. And in this chest, you get the holy sword. This thing is kind of ridiculously statted. There's the ancient sword I have now, and holy sword is... It like almost doubles the strength I have now, and that's after an upgrade. And you get an ability for a beam on this thing. But as of right now, it doesn't have pierce, and that's a problem with every sword. If you can't pierce with the sword, it might as well be a janky sword. So. Right, I need that. Book. Hey. Uh, I can't wait to get rid of that anchor or that wire rod. Look at that, two hits without being max powered. That's ridiculous. Actually. Let's see, I think it's, nope. Is it this one? All right. Get a hundred gold, whoa. Which is good because I'm gonna be needing a lot of money. No, I don't want to do this. Please say it lead me back around. Lead me back around. Please, please, please. It didn't lead me back around. Dang it. Okay. Alrighty, um, I don't know why I didn't just do this earlier, because I'm gonna, actually, no, oh, I'll just buy those in Ray Jack, I guess. Go into Ray Jack Village, because I want the, uh, blacksmith guy. So I want to upgrade my new Biffy sword. I'm gonna give you beam. Uh, beams only happen when you're max HP, so or max health. 
Anything else cool? Just strength and all that good stuff, so. And that's the beam. It's just kind of looks like a weird boomerang thing. Uh. And how I was talking about getting rid of the stupid wire rod. Well, that's what I'm going to go do right now. And this thing is kind of retarded in its location. So it's very easily missable. If you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, this is the area that's technically an okay starting money grinder just because uh, those things drop uh, 10 gold pieces a lot and have a chance, like a slight chance of dropping like 100 gold pieces. Nope, nope, nope. Bees. Too many bees. Don't like the bees. Bean. Yeah, this sword basically just lets you one shot like everything. That's like not really strong. And if you can't one shot it, you can usually two shot it. Ignore everything. Oh, kill it! Kill the fire! Oh, don't go all the way up there! You slut. And coming from a Lambia, that's saying something. Actually, I think I'm going to screen transition before I get to it. Ah, You suck. <laughs> Replace that. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see how good a shot I am. Come on. Alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was fun. You can die. You can die. If you wanna. <laughs> uh, in here is uh, just. And there is just a fairy screen. Also. Best treasure chest in the game, right here. It is so disappointing. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Boop. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, that's just something. Alrighty. Put your wire shot over there. For every hour you play, take a 15 minute break. By Sir Signs. Thank you, Sir Signs. For that nifty little... Suggestion. Yeah. Uh... I've always liked this music of this place. It has very catchy music. And up there's another sign from Sir Sign. And there's, and this is the only way to get it actually, is to go after the this item, which is technically really optional and really easily missable. Also, Zelda fans beware, the centaurs are back. And falling rocks. And then, who thinks of doing that? <laughs> the only way I can see you actually getting that is like 
tripping over it. Tripping over it or trying to hide from rocks. <laughs> Pretty much. You're just like, I'm gonna hide from the rocks! Wait, where'd I go? <laughs> and it's really easy to get it, it's just like half of the thing is quite literally just finding the stupid thing. Ah! More! Ah! Cyclops! And that was like four hits on that stupid thing. And I wonder if these things can be stunned from the back. Let's find out. So I really want to book it. Turn around. Ah. Come on, bright eyes. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, you little shit. Come on, come over here. No. I hate these guys. Hey, I got it. That you know what? Screw you. Got the anchor rod. Boing! It has more O's, so it's longer than the wire rod. I love this game's logic. <laughs> oh, I didn't grab him. Okay. I didn't grab his healing uh, HP potion, but okay. My rev my revival point is set here, so if I die, I'm just gonna pop right next to there. Rock I, the I know, right? Rocks are the best defense. I have no idea how many hits I need to deal this guy. Ow. On up with the book. That was the spot you okay, there's a few. Okay, this is getting increasingly annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> Die. You horrible, horrible thing, you. Sit on that teleport pad. Hey, look! Sign. D3 shade with. Or the world is 3D backwards. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Sign, for speaking in tongues. Um, up here, you can actually see a. Uh, yeah, your wire rod is gone, and now you got the anchor rod. And yeah, it is quite a bit longer. Over here is like the area after the water area. But you can technically I think you can technically go after the fire temple now. I don't think you can complete it because you don't have the water's item, but uh in here all those locked doors in the dungeons, the colored locked doors, you can actually buy the keys for them in here. But they're a grand apiece. And if you, uh, after a side quest a little later on, you get a special key, which is like a skeleton key that can open all of those. So you can either do a little, like buy like 
3,000 gold worth of keys or wait a little while and get a special key for pretty much free. Uh, one main thing is, is it this guy? Yes, my rival made a brand new bat. Hmm, let's see it. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, it's pretty good, but you won't hit any home runs with it. I created a bat that can guarantee a home run. It was a masterpiece. I'll never forget the man who wielded it. Last I saw him, he lived in Colneria Village. He was something. Well, sorry about the long speech. Thanks for the showing me the bat. Uh, that actually opens up another sword you can get uh, later on. I'm a spa critic. This spa is some good buzz. So here I am. Hmm? You want a spa? Well, you can't just take one, but here. I got spa powder. Sprinkle that into a bathtub for the true spa experience. Now, if you don't mind me, I must critique this. Man of his art. Uh, welcome to my store. Take your time. Actually, I never did buy wind, wind wings, did I? Let's buy that many. Uh, you, room, five gold? Meh. Uh, what's up here? I don't... Oh, uh, yeah. That guy just talks to you about... He's searching for legendary armor. Good for you. Uh, that guy just talks to you about, uh, the fire sage and fire temple and stuff like that but I don't have to deal with it and here's a random chicken all the ra really random animals in this game have actually do actually have a purpose which of course fine later on when you get a certain item but I'm gonna fly to Rajak village or not Rajak uh, culinaria just the place south of the castle. And this will actually end this episode. And we will continue on to the Aqua Temple next episode. Thanks for watching.